Hey, Sam, I'm sure we'll do this again on Saturday, but wanted to ask you, um, in general, are things going according to plan? How would you say spring has gone through 12 workouts now? You know, I, I've really been pleased with my new coaches. Um, I think to a man, we've gotten better. Um, you know, we've got to get out of the, well, which – which we have, I think, Tom, and we need to keep everybody on the team. Everybody on the team is going to have some value to us, but everybody on the team has to get better. I, I think we have. I've liked our new schematics that we've done offensively, defensively. I think our new guys coming in, have the players have accepted them well. And, again, if you went back, Tom, and said, can we be at this point after – uh, the end of our last regular season game. <clears throat> I do think winning the bowl had something to do with a little bit of life back in the program, but I, I think the changes that we've made have been positive for us, and I, uh, I'm i really pleased with what we've gotten done uh, in 12 practices. It's been a very physical 12 practices, but I'm really pleased with what we've gotten done. Okay, today we saw um... – a um, formation where it looked like Dean and Spence, the linebackers, were kind of in a maybe a slot position where there were three linebackers. Can you tell us about maybe what that looks like and what, what y'all are doing there? Yeah, I mean, um, well, you might have – was it early? Uh, or I mean, they yeah. may have been – Early. Have been, you know, they may have had them all out there, Tom. Just back, They have them all back up each other out there. That may be what you're thinking of, but – I don't, I don't know. They may have, a, were they in a walk maybe? No, it was a team. It was a team uh, period, but. Well, we went to our, we went to our odd front would have ah. something to do with that as well. We went to our odd front and then, you know, that Jack backer, you know, you had, you're, you're right. You had uh, Landon is, is one of those guys. Uh, uh, Trey John, Jeff coach, one of those guys. Spence is one of those guys. So, that's what you saw. I'm, I'm sure you saw Buck standing up out outside there with with linebacker on top of him. Okay, cool. And my last question is: You mentioned Chris Well had really come on. You thought he was really throwing it well. And last time we talked, is there anyone like him who's really like getting it and and maybe moving up the chart? Yeah, Andrew uh, Armstrong uh, done some really good things. Uh, Tesla. And I don't want to say too many because you're, you're, I think you're asking specifics about what pops off my head at the beginning. So those two guys really have Satagna. Um, and then uh, has uh, Luke. And then Kudis at tackle would pop off. I'm talking about guys that you may, may, may not. It's really good to have Tori and Carter back. Uh, Playing some good ball. We talked about landing before. Stewart. Um, and Trey John Jeff Carr, it's hard to block now. Him and Morgan both. Uh, at the linebacker position, I think we've got three that's doing really well. Manny got dinked up, dinked up a little bit, got injured a little bit, but he'll be fine, but he just won't be back the rest of the spring. Snacks Johnson playing well. And, uh, you know, I could go on and on, nudie, but uh, those guys would pop off uh, right when you asked the question about who who has really had uh, a better spring than maybe even I would have anticipated. Otis. Coach, I've got a question, and I've got one for Nate. Uh, on mine, you just said Luke, but – the tight end position as a whole, you don't have big numbers there, but how do you feel about that position, Coach? I think we're getting better there. Um, and then we'll have to see what comes available and things of that nature. Obviously, we have Shamar Easter coming in as well, but uh, I think we're getting better. I think Ty Washington is getting better. I think Max is getting better. Uh, obviously, we've talked about has. Um, and and to be to be perfectly honest with you, Hunter Talley is getting better. and. Lee and those guys, but um, it wouldn't be out of the realm that we would entertain to see because we're playing a lot of 12, a lot of 13, yeah. um, you know, wouldn't be uh, off the realm to think if somebody came available that we might not be interested. 
I don't know. We'll have to talk it out as a staff. Sam, uh, Nate wanted this one. He said, since fans really haven't got to see anything in the spring, uh, is there anything in particular you won't showcase for them Saturday? No, no. We're going to scrimmage, and we're going we're gonna to play our ball. We're going to play. I mean, everybody knows what Dan did. You know what I mean? And yeah. everybody knows what T. Will did over at UCF. So we're really not interested in hiding anything. We're just trying to get better. So we'll we'll, we'll roll the ball out there, and we'll have a good scrimmage. Thanks, man. Sam, you mentioned going more, you know, 12 personnel, 13 personnel. We've seen a lot of that in practice. We've seen some 20 personnel, some 21 personnel. That's something that we should expect out of Coach Enos' offense uh, this year, a lot of versatility like that. Yeah, and I think part of it really, Andrew, is he's trying to find out, you know, who our players are for himself. You know, obviously he's watched all the games and things of that nature, but I think he's – trying to see where we can attack people in different formations. Um, but he's got to see, he got to feel, he got to get a good feel about the line. He's got to get a good feel about how many tight ends we can put out there. But um, yeah, I think we'll be, well, it wouldn't be real hard for us to be more multiple than what we were because, you know, we played so fast, but uh, we'll be much different looking personnel wise than what we were before. And you mentioned Snacks as a guy that's really stood out to you. He seems kind of like a, a real good, real big talker out there, uh, kind of like Nudie was last year. What's kind of like the walk in the fine line of, you know, you want your DBs to, to have a little bit of that, and then but also stay within what, what y'all like? Yeah, well, if I hear it, and we'll, we'll take care of it, you know, and our coaches are supposed to, too, so I'll address the coaches about that. Thanks for getting them in trouble. Great. Uh, yeah, Coach, I was wondering about the uh, the structure for Saturday. Are you going to go ones versus ones, ones versus twos? Is the white team the offense and the red team defense? How are you going to do it? No, I, I tell you, Trey, we're just going to scrimmage. So uh, to start out, we're going to kick off, and and uh, we're, we're only going to kick off once with each group. So that's ones, twos, threes. We're going to punt twice with each group, uh, uh, ones, twos, and threes. Uh, we're going to try to get nine field goals in at some point. Uh, but – We'll go out there and we'll run nine to 12 plays with the ones versus twos. I'm talking about offense. So we'll start with the one offense versus twos, then the two, two O versus one D, and then three, three. The next time we come back, we'll be nine to 12 and it'll be one, good on good. It'll be one on one, two on two, three on three. And then the rest of the scrimmage is situational, but it's good on good. So third down will be, it'll be third down and, you know, distance, different distances. And then uh, we're going to have a uh, third play fourth. Uh, we're going to have a uh, red area, high red and low area, uh, low red. And then we'll have to get the ball back two minute type drill as well. And that all will be good on good, one on one, two on two. The only one versus two will be the beginning of, of the scrimmage. So it will be a live tackle scrimmage. White will be offense and red will be defense, basically. Yes. I'm, I so, guess red will be offense. Why? I don't know. I I, I don't know. How does that work? Well, yes. Offense will be one, one, one jersey and defense will be the other jersey. Can I get any way for the defense to score? Like if they get a. No. A, and, and to be honest with you, Trey, it's really not a, not a scoring scrimmage. You know I mean? I guess they could, in, but it's not a game type situation. I guess what I'm saying. Okay. Gotcha. I think the fans will really like it because it's, we're rolling out there and getting busy. Yeah, I think so too. Um, Isaac Tesla, the last couple of practices, he's made some really impressive one-handed catches. Looks like KJ's even kind of maybe starting to look his way a little bit more. Do you feel like there's any – I mean, somebody's going to be the go-to receiver out of these guys. Do you feel like maybe – and I know you got a couple guys that are banged up too, but is he kind of maybe starting to separate himself a little bit? Right? He's catching a lot of wow balls, you know. Those are that 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 separates receivers right there is who can catch um, contested passes and who can catch the one that's unbelievably hard to catch. Um, he seemed to have been able to do that. I've been uh, pleased with Armstrong, like I talked about, and Satagna and Bryce and those guys as well. But um, maybe you know the one that I'm missing out there is Tyrone Broden. You know, I would I wish that we could 
get a better feel for him. Uh, I think he is coming along. He may be able to play Saturday, but um, yeah, Trey's really, you, you've been to practice. He's, he's been impressive. Thanks coach. Brandon, wrap us up. Hey coach. Uh, my apologies, this is more big picture uh, and kind of a two or three part question in one, but one, what, what is, you, you believe your health of your program is right now and what has been the most challenging thing for you this spring considering the turnover and what do you think is going to be another challenge you'll have to face after the spring well uh, the health of our team um, you know we have some high ankles um, we had a couple of repairable cartilages uh, but as of today, we don't have anybody that won't be ready to go in August. Um, I guess what I meant by help of the program, I mean, just overall as a program. You're talking about the culture yeah. and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Correct, yeah. Um, I think it's as good right now as it was uh, when we won nine games. I, I think our strength coach, our new coaches have a lot to do with that. But um, we've got a lot of good – kids on our team that's working extremely hard I, I uh it'd be hard to be more pleased in other words I guess and 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 it will happen I'm sure but you know we talk about the portal and who might go in and kids go in for different reasons and all that kind of stuff but I just don't feel like there'll be a mass exit or possibly any you know I feel pretty good about where we're at uh, there. And then I, I can't remember your last question. I'm sorry. What has been the most challenging thing this spring? And what do you think will be challenging once you get in the off season? Well, I, think, I think we, we ask questions about, you know, the quarterback position, you know, where are we going there? I think that was something that we had to, in our mind, you know, do we have someone that can win a game for us? You know, when, without obviously KJ. And I think we, I think we feel good there. Um, obviously we've got a couple of tackles on, on the O line and then, and, uh, that we feel, you know, we, who's going to be the people. I think we found those guys. I think I feel good about them. The tight end position is, is one that, uh, we're continuing to improve, but that going in, that was a question, you know, what are we going to do there and who's going to improve? And, uh, well, we, here's what we've done. The questions at corner, I think we're pretty good. And the questions at defensive end, I think we're pretty good. Uh, linebacker, I think Greer was a great addition for those other guys we've had. Uh, are we still short some guys? Yeah, because we've got eight scholarships. So we need more, you know, interior guys need, you know, some more safeties, things of that nature. But We've answered most of those questions uh, in a positive way. I, like I say, I, I like where our, the culture of the team is. I do, and I think you can feel it at practice, and you'd have to ask the guys that's been out there a lot. But, And I'm not talking about our guys, the guys on this call. And I think they, you know, honestly, I think they can feel it as well. So um, I'm happy where we are. Um, it wasn't near as bad as what everybody thought it was wasn't as good ever as as you know I think it is it's somewhere in between but I feel real confident with this football team I, I really do I like them thanks Sam all right guys oh Trace Trace got his just one more coach you you kind of you lost weight Trey you look good I haven't but thank you I appreciate it <laughs> um uh, just one more about that. You kind of touched a little bit on tackles. Uh, I think last week maybe there was a little bit of concern with how well the, the ends were getting to them, and you've moved Kudis over there for four practices now. Um, and obviously I, you said you, you're feeling like you may be starting to figure things out there. How well has he come along? I like him a lot. Um, we had a discussion, you know, obviously Kudis got value, you know, because he can play center, he can play left guard. Uh, but it's sort of like Andrew Thomas, you know, Andrew Thomas at one point at Georgia was starting for us in preseason at left guard. And I'm thinking, well, hell, he might be the best right tackle we had. Now we had Isaiah Wynn, who was a first rounder as well. But uh, you you kind of want to start your your program from the tackles to the center and then plug in the other guys. And 
We know Brady Latham can go out there. I've been really impressed with Devin Manuel, really impressed. And, uh, and Kudis has done really well out there. I mean, real well. That's what we recruited him as a tackle. And of course we hadn't needed him, you know, um, at that position, uh, but we do now. And, and I think we, I think we're, we're solidifying that, that area with him and Crawford and Harris and Chambly and, of course, Dev, I, th I think we're going to be okay out there.